God bless you all. Welcome to my new mini Bible lesson. My name is Emmanuel and today I'm going to talk of the eternal relationship between Jesus and God. The name of today is the beloved son of God. So, first of all, I would like to talk about facts that usually happen, you know. Um, a story about children. You know, in the world, there's some child that they don't, they doesn't know what family they come from. A dysfunctional family in which nobody tells them if they will be loved, if they has a place in this family. So... No, but no one encourages them when they do good, and no one shuffles them when they do bad. So these guys have no idea of what to do because they have no idea of who they are. So they don't know whether they do right or whether they do wrong when the temptation face them so sometimes these guys they just take you know the wrong way and when temptation come they don't know how to defend themselves so they just fall in temptation so nothing all them bad there's no body that stand by them to say oh look you're going to the wrong, the wrong way nobody take them to the right way and they start to be beginning to be doing stupid things you know they start to be doing silly things and they only dig to themselves so i think i think in this regard if a child feels he belongs to someone who became powerful that I think that if somebody know that he belongs to someone, that he have people around him that is supporting him, you have a power that nobody never see. You know, a person that have people around him is different than a person that is so by self without on anybody. He's so alone, he's alone without not anybody supporting him, give him counsel, tell him, play with him. You know, why do you see babies just playing with friends like this? Because they know that they belong to someone. Why parents exist? Because parents need to support their child, and so. This, the consequences of this that the child we hear that they have someone supporting them, someone to help them, someone to tell them when they go to the right, the, the wrong way, to take them to the right way. So, you know, let us think, for example, let us think to a little baby, two years baby, to say, that baby have parents, you know and like they're playing okay they are playing in the room so this baby makes something he does something that makes his parents happy and when he see that his parents is happy he's just laughing 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 the baby will do it again and again and again and again and again and again hallelujah the baby will do it again so we have to do it because he know that this will make his parents laugh, and he know that his parents loves him, and this lets his parents happy. We 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 belong to. We know that we belong to someone, and we all want to know that we are loved. We don't want to know that we want to make someone happy. Even the people that like they are so cold and they are they are so you know they're so heavy to have to manage. 
So these people, even everybody in the deep side of your heart, want to make someone happy. But people do it in a different way, in their way. So we can't we can't just be judging how somebody, someone make people happy. You know, uh, for example, there's a king, servants. So we think that to do the serve is not good. But if the servants wants to serve the king, he know that he makes the king happy. He will do his work well again with the happiness in his heart because he know that he's going to be rewarded and he know that he's going to make the king happy. So, all this human being is what human being deeply desire to make someone happy, to have someone around and to be supported by someone. So, why God exists? Why? He exists to support us. He creates us. And he's like a father. Why? Why we just, like, there's an analogy between a father and God. It's not the case why we call God. Sometimes we say father, father, father. God is our father. Why? Because, like, the image of the father we associate the image of the Father to God because He protects us, He supports us. We know that from up, He's looking at us and He's supporting us in everywhere that we go. Glory be to God. Oh, let's pray. Father God, thank you for your son Jesus. As we find His identity, may we see also our identity in him may you guide us by your holy spirit amen so we always ask ourselves who is jesus and we're set on the book of matthew the gospel of the book of matthew to find the answer to this question and today we come to that point so in history when well, the identity of Jesus will be revealed so there's a perfectly clear voice crystal clear voice that reveals us from evil who is Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew 3 verse 13 to 17 is written who is Jesus so you can get you cannot get something more clear than this so let us go as I said before to the book of Matthew 3 verse 13 to 17 says then come jesus from galilee to jordan unto john to be baptized of him but john forbid him saying i am need to be baptized of thee and comes due to me and jesus answering said unto him suffer is to be so now for those it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was but was baptized, went out straightway out of the water, and though the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God shed like a dew, and lighten upon him. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom. I am well pleased. So, for who have new living translation? Then Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John didn't want to baptize him 
I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, he said. So why are you coming to me? But Jesus said, it must be done because we must do everything that is right. So then John baptized him. After his baptizing, as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And the voice from heaven says, This is my beloved Son, and I truly pleased with him. Hallelujah. So, this verse is telling us that, you know, Jesus went to, you know, the muddy Jordan to baptize. And so, you know, John says, but why I have to baptize you? It's me, the person that has to be baptized. But Jesus said, no. Baptize me. So, all this is right for us to satisfy everyone justice and then agree to fulfill all righteousness. Jesus didn't need to repent of any sin. Jesus didn't need to be cleansed, but here is he identifying with sinful people. That he came to save our world, to save our world from to save our world from bad sin, to save our world from sins. So, to show, like, he made an example to everyone that even though he was the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, even he needs to be baptized. So, so, in a way, this is a beautiful picture of God with us, God, coming down into the muddy water to show us all the way out through the mud to the muddy water. So he baptized himself, Jesus Christ, into the muddy water to show example to all the people. And so what happened again? From the heaven, from the heaven open. And a voice, a crystal voice say, this is my beloved son. And a dove come down. So in this way, there's, you know, the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, you know, the heavenly father went John along with ease and well both of them obeyed the father and look what happened when these two men obey God in verse 16 and when Jesus was baptized immediately he went up from the water and behold the heavens were open again the heavens were open so how can this happen? You know, we call him the son of man and everybody was just surprised to see what's, what's happening? It's just a simple man, but they didn't know that that was Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, glory be to God. So we can like in this part of the story, we can meditate very well on the Trinity. As a clear day, if you need a clear indication that this, you can see it. This is a clear indication in the Bible about the Trinity. So Jesus is the Son of God. And between Jesus and God, there's the Holy Spirit. That's who we call God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, you know, Dr. Stoner says of this moment, Jesus has three of the best characters, witness you can ever have. He has behind him to show you the relationship of what I said before. You know, the child, 
they know that someone supports them so jesus he have a great people to support them oh how can we call you see people calling people we can call him god he have god behind him to support him in every situation and the holy spirit so he can't wish better than this i think so and even in the situation he needs to be baptized by john but it's not only him that have God behind him. All of us have God and the Holy Spirit. Because we are a part of Jesus Christ. We are a part of God. We are a part of Holy Spirit. So we are a part of the Trinity. All of us united. We are a part of the Trinity. So that crucial moment... It's a moment that signed all our story, all our existence. So, by the time that Jesus was baptized, baptized, he baptizes all. He baptizes because he know that we are a part of him. So, by him to be baptized, all of us at the same time, we was baptized because we are under him. We are in. So. Through Jesus, when he baptized, everything was open. So we have to take the rule of Jesus. We have to take the road that Jesus Christ took 2,000 years ago. And we also have to be baptized. So if you know that you have not been baptized, you better do it. Because as a Christian, we have to be baptized to know that we are born again. We have to take our baptize. So, you know, Jesus, no, he went to go and baptize. Why? Not because he had to show that, hey, I'm a human being and I have to baptize like this, like all everybody. Some people, they were just looking him. He didn't go and baptize by John the Baptist because he knew that something in his body was not complete. He was not complete. Only after he baptized, he was baptized, he know that he is really purified. He is purified. So if we want to be purified like Jesus Christ, we have to be baptized. Hallelujah. So thank you everyone for following my mini Bible lesson. Don't forget to follow my youtube channel and to subscribe and to tap to the notification button don't forget even to subscribe to my blog there i'm going to publish it some recipe you know and every day a new verse a new verse that's going to explain different different topic okay bye